When I first began this whole filming and fishing thing, I used to take my dad's Kodak camcorder and uh, walk out to little ponds and creeks and lakes and film these experiences. I don't even really know who I was talking to when I turned that camera on, but I knew this was something that I wanted to do. I began taking these videos that I compiled over the months and started posting them on a website I'd found called YouTube. This is just a quick video thanking all of you. Almost reached my 100 subscribers mark. Fishing for me was never enough. I wanted to share that love this of fishing. This is so freaking cool. Two things that I'm very passionate about to this date is fishing and filming, and it's unfortunately something I gave up when I turned 18 years old. My focus switched. I sold most of my rods, abandoned my audience, and walked away from my growing YouTube channel. Even though I'm so grossed in this now, I wish I would have never made that mistake. So happy to be back and uploading videos. Keep fishing. Never stop. Never Stop to me is more of a reminder. I'm a big believer in continuing whatever I start. I truly get a kick out of getting other people into fishing, and the best way for me to accomplish that is to share my videos with the angling and fishing world. And making that happen on a larger scale can be difficult, and that's why we've partnered up with Carl's Mercury Low. They truly believe in our mission and help support us every day on these bigger trips like the Never Stop Tour. When I reached that bump at an early age, I promised myself and committed to never stop fishing, never stop filming, and never stop telling stories. This is building up to something very big. This tour is all about traveling into the unknown and completely winging it. Good. This is the story of two high school buddies hopping in a car, grabbing some rods, hooking up the boat, and attempting to travel to places so another big neither one. of us have ever been to. Because I feel like we're gonna get this some stuff. Um, okay. Do you want we're also gonna bring these. Two. Mean, you, know, you know what these are for? What are those for? These are for when you go in the ditch. You put them under your wheels. Mm -hmm. and those I are nice. You yes, I, I, I spent. I bought these a year ago in anticipation for this trip. <laughs> they haven't been used yet, so I'm hoping they don't get used for this trip. This is really nice. Yeah. That's a good idea. Fair. So those will go up with the spare. We've been trying to leave for the past feels like 12 hours, but. We got some crazy rain that hit Dallas, and now we're just packing, getting stuff ready, and hopefully it just lets up a little bit so we can pack the car up. So we are moments away from leaving for the Never Stop Tour 2. Um, the rain really slowed us down. The packing in the rain is the worst, and this is nothing compared to what it was doing about an hour ago. The boat's ready. Just need to load up the runner, and then we should be out of here. Fishing in no time. Something hours. So if we like drove straight to our final destination, which is San Diego, it'd be like 30 hours. But the way we're doing this, it's gonna be like 40 hours. So uh, we're gonna log about 40, 50 hours in this baby. And uh, yeah, I'm sure something will, something will happen. We really only have, on a serious note, like last time when we left, we had what? Did we really, what, what, what I'm trying to think of like our game, like, what it's was similar our to this game plan. It's just what was our mindset going into it? Because like it was just to make it to one final destination, right? Yeah, and that would be probably Canada. Yeah, and yeah. now we have that same thing where we have like a goal to make it to one destination, but we have four other obstacles in our way. Not really obstacles, but four other commitments we made is to do four meetups. Right, and we have to fish in us... those states that we did the meetup, but I don't know where we're fishing at all. Yeah, we don't know. We have no clue where we're fishing. We don't even know where we're going right now. <laughs> we're just driving towards. We have to be somewhere in seven days. Okay. That's really the only thing we have to do. Yep. That's quite amazing if you think about that. Always. Cherish your life moments like this. Yep. When is the last time you could tell yourself, hey, I have nothing to do for seven days? True. But in reality, we have a lot to do. Yeah, we have a lot to do. Like go to the speed up. <laughs> We 
We are at stop number one right now. We're about, what do you say, two, two hours west of Dallas. This is a lake that I have fished like once. I know nothing about it. I got my I got my deal rocked over here. I didn't, I didn't catch any fish, which is weird. It's like, why would you want to come back? What is going on here, right? What's happening? Are you peeing right now? Dude, do not pee, because you're gonna pee in my car. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out and do it. I didn't want to ruin the outro intro. Oh my God. Nothing has changed, by the way. Three years and everything is still the same with that kid. Anyway, uh, yeah, tiny little lake. Supposedly it's big fish. And yeah, first the first stop is always kind of daunting because it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the trip. So we'll see how she goes. I just went to the other, wait, I passed, okay, so we're gonna have to talk here, because I can't even think. <laughs> hey guys, John can't think. I'm having a great time, I've laughed for the past 20 minutes. Um, we just realized that we, did you pass it for sure? No, 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 I just. You didn't I plugged, go the wrong way. When I plugged in the directions, I just, I hit like, just Cisco Lake, like just, we're going to Cisco oh. Lake, yeah, and it just took me to like some random road in Cisco Lake, and there's one ramp on this entire lake because it's a little west side. So we lake. drove pretty much the whole lake except the spot where the ramp is. Yeah, but what did we drive in? Straight mud. We drove in straight mud down back roads. John, I don't, his truck is muddy. We don't know if his boat's muddy. My boat's it's just, straight. we need some air. We do need some, it's a little hot here. I wonder why I couldn't find the ramp. We're not even on the side of the lake where the ramp's at. Did we bring toilet paper on this journey? Yeah, I've got wipes, butt wipes. Good. Oh wow, is that actual concrete? This is insane. This is incredible. So I basically just put a hundred miles on my, on my boat and truck for literally no reason other than for you guys to watch me suffer. No service. I have no service, bro. You have the same provider. Okay, so where I passed the ramp was when I was on the highway. Yeah. That's where I passed the ramp. Yeah, you see the ramp? Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. yep wow. There it is. Wow. Holy moly. That's the ramp right there. Yeah. We've made it to the first spot on the uh, Never Stop Tour. This is spot number one. This is a Texas lake, so this is definitely something we're familiar oh, with. Pristine. Yeah, just the back's a little dirty. Your oh. bunks, your bunks got some mud on them. Um, we're gonna remove the cover, get in the water, and probably do some flipping. We don't have much time with the rain, which delayed us this morning, but I think we can do it. I think we can get some fish. This is the first cast of the tour. This is. Which one looks good? Pick. You gotta choose right. Choose wisely. Before I cast, I want to cast. cast at that tree. Okay. <laughs> I want to make the first cast special. You just cast. It looks pretty good. I don't know. Can't be legit. Ooh. 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 Starting off with a little trash master. Ooh. A little trash master in the kraken. Drunken. This is some good line you got. What am I using here? This is a nice rod. Seven six. Seven six, big sexy. Yep. Snap. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Wow. What a first cast. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna throw the jig. I'll throw this swim bait around for a bit, dude. I thought, I thought you were about to set the hook. This looks delicious. Was the water a lot dirtier last time we were here? Oh, it was way dirtier than this. I think we got. I think we have to start off. Did we catch fish every single day last time? I think that's that's the goal. Is we want to catch fish every single day. We're on this we tour 100 for. hundred percent caught fish every single day. Yeah, we did. I think I think we're on this tour for like 21 days. Two anglers. I think we can we can manage getting at least one bite per day. Granted, we got started a little late. It's like 4 p.m. right now. But Peric's on a trash master jig, and I'm throwing this Buka bullshad. But catch co, this thing's dirty. 
Look at that. So I'm fishing fast, he's fishing slow. I'm gonna twerk on him. Go twerk on him. I'm feeling good about this. Water's up real nice. Oh, oh, yes, yes. No way. That was so sick. Did you get that? That was so dope. So first cast on the Riverstop Tour, first fish on the bull shad. Unfreaking believable. Dude, that fish came up and smoked it. That, Did you see it? He like, no, I wasn't working, but this thing is going to be a freaking player. Just thrown up in the brush. Oh, he's warm. It's a lot warmer down there than it is up here. Dude, he came up and clobbered it. Wow. Dude, this is how usually the weather is like up north this yeah. time of year. Like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. My first fish of Never Stop. It's not a giant. He clocked it though. A little trash master jig, a little crack and crawl. Digs. Adios. Maybe next time we'll be a little bit bigger. This was the bait I'm throwing. 20 pound test. A little crack and crawl. A little half ounce jig. John's throwing the swim bait. I was gonna switch up to the swim bait, but I think I can get a bigger bite on this jig. But obviously that was not the bite I was looking for. So we're gonna keep going, on, going down the shore. We've got probably about three hours left of daylight and then we're gonna get back on the road. So we're gonna make the most of our fishing today. Oh my, oh my gosh, gosh. Sick, that was so cool, that's ate it on top. Ate it on top. Oh. <laughs> Heck yes, first one landed on the swim bait. Literally fluttered wow. that bait up on the surface and this fish just attacked it. Real skinny, real skinny male. Yeah. There he is, big, big giant, big. Oh, what is that? It's a dark large oh, mouth. Wow. That was weird. I, I also thought the same thing. I was like, what is that? It is evident in here that these fish are eating shad. Like, I fished here like one of the time, Perrix never fished here. We just pulled up today. Really like a quarter day of fishing. They're on these bull shots and we were getting smoked. They're not big fish, but it's just nice to get bit. Like we've been driving all day and messing around with gear all day. So a uh, few bites, feel pretty good. Very welcome to the new boat. Don't hit it off the tree. No way, shut up. Get it off the tree. Get it, get it in. Why are they all the same size though? Mm, yes. like a giant you would think though, like a big fish would eat this too, just how lifelike it looks. So, I mean, we also can't be greedy. We've literally shown up and fished for an hour and uh, catching fish is always fun. Well, we're now both throwing the old baby bull shad because it's the only thing we can seem to get a consistent bite on. Yep, 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 that was really, really cool. So yes, sir. There's a lot of fish busting on like little bait around here. But Eric and I are keying in on just, what are we keying in on? Bait? Stuff? We're keying in on the little bait <laughs> fish in the lake. We're using yeah. a floral carbon line to make sure the fish can't see us. Oof. And we're throwing little swim baits. Wes, can you make that look bigger, please? That's the swim bait, and that's the bass we're catching. I'm throwing the bone one, bone shad. Nice. Talk about the floral carbon. Uh, it's fluorocarbon when it's, when it's, okay, let me put this guy back, sorry. Whoosh. So, this is the gear we're using. This stuff's kind of important. I'm using a seven foot medium action rod, soft tip, 15 pound fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is nice when throwing swim baits like this because it makes the overall look of your bait a little more natural, braids a little more visible, mono's a little stretchy and a little more visible and it floats. So, the, the fluorocarbon helps get that bait down and it's super translucent. And we're literally just reeling, cranking, 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 stopping it, cranking it, stop. Just like a dying bait fish, you know. Just think about when you see like a little shad in the water. He's going boop boop, and he stops. He goes boop boop, he stops. 
and the fish eats it. If you guys want to buy one of these baits, check the link in the description below. Uh, we're going to be using this a lot throughout the tour, but we figured we'd get started right now, seeing it's prime time for throwing little shad baits. Oh, it's up, up, up. I'm, about, I'm about to lay into it. You're like about a, to lay into some, some metal. Cement. Some metal. This is, uh, just so you guys are aware, the water's really high right now. This is someone's dock. Like, we are above where people normally walk. So it's one of the reasons why the swim bait's working good is the water's up and the fish are pushed up in the flooded timber. And the thing about it is, like, you might think, this is just something I've noticed, like, there's so much wood that it's really hard to, I, per se, like, keep flipping every piece of wood. Yeah, what's, so you, what's the right wood? Yeah. yeah, so using a search bait like this can get active fish to eat. Um, unfortunately, sometimes those bigger fish sit below. sit below the wood, but, I mean... As soon you as the sun, know. when the sun starts going down, he already had a big one hit, hit. So as soon as the sun goes down, those fish will start moving higher in the water column and fishing these docks could be really good. Oh, that was good. Yeah, you might be wrong. You might be right. Oh, that was sweet. He came back and ate twice. They're really skinny, though. very post ball fish. Looking for a meal. Fresh off the bed. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a bluegill. No way. What is that? It's a warm out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Told you I was about to catch Second that. species of the trip. Nice Second job. species. Yeah, we should definitely do a species counter too. Oh, oh that was so cool. Yes. That was so yes. sick. Are you kidding me? Oh, yes. That's a pretty meaty one. That is a meaty one. That's wow. probably my biggest one. I watched that fish come out, circle the bait, come in, and then finally commit to it. And uh, that's just something so cool about seeing a fish eat a swim bait like that. I love catching big bass, and that bass was sick. <laughs> Yo, you gotta leave that one in there. That was sick. Guarantee you catch one underneath that dock if you make a good cast. So throughout this series, we're gonna be talking about our merchandise. Our merchandise is high quality stuff printed on in the United States, actually made by our manager, Matt. He's an awesome guy. And the merch is so cool that you're gonna get lots of ladies. Um, actually, the reason why I met lots my girl- Lots of ladies, lots of bass. Lots of ladies and bass, yep. ass and bass. You're gonna get a lot of ass and a lot of bass by wearing our merchandise. You also have a shot of winning a fully rigged boat. And what more could you ask for? And, oh, and fishing, fishing with trip. us. Yes. And a fishing trip with me and Jonathan. Um, I can't promise you that Jonathan will be as cool as he is in videos because we do a lot of editing for him, but I will definitely be as cool as I am. Um, fish on! Look at this. Dude, it's a good one too. Oh, oh yes. It's a nice one. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Who called it? Who called AP it? AP Basson called it. Definitely the biggest one of the trip. Definitely the biggest one of the trip. Help me out here. Help me out here. Come on. Get him. Oh, baby. There you go, Jimmy. Look at that little shad. Yes, sir. That's, yeah. a, that's the biggest one on the trip. Now you, we're talking. You could talk more about our merchandise. Oh, yeah. You want to get a cast in there? Yeah. So as you can see, the Never Stop 2 apparel gives you extra fishing power. If I wasn't wearing this today, I was wearing like some other like janky shirt. Probably would not be catching as many fish. Not too freaking shabby, dude. They T-bone it in here. So anyway, if you guys want to get some of the merch, check the description below. If you buy one piece of apparel, that counts as one entry to win... A boat and a fishing trip with us uh, all the details will be linked also below um, as far as rules and regulations and the important thing is, is if you cop some merch you have a chance to win at a boat wow good fish yeah. Not too shabby. oh my god if i get one here I'm <gasps> baby no way look at that that was so no way that you called sick. that i called that <laughs> gosh you could like ew ew what what is going on what? Look at that thing. Oh, God. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> what noises are you making over there? Oh, that's just disgusting. That fish has got problems. Oh, look at this rock. Lots of problems. I don't want to touch this thing. I'm going to give him back. Um, no, I called that fish that, that I, I made a skip. I made a skip underneath the dock. Oh, and I was retying it. Came and absolutely destroyed it. That's super cool. We're, def we're, we're getting on to something now where we can literally call our shots. The only thing we can't call is when we're gonna catch one over a pound. Uh, over a pound, I'd say over, how about 13 ounces? <laughs> 13 ounces. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm also on double. Oh. <laughs> Where did that hit you? In the sweatshirt. 
Dude, we had a double. How big was yours? This looked all right. Yep. It's on your back. <laughs> Turn around. How did that happen? Oh, there's a bush. That was the fish. <laughs> How did that happen? Dude, only this could happen to me. I'm definitely gonna need some pliers, Jimmy. I got some. Don't worry. Oh, pair hooked himself. I got this bass. It's quite interesting. You're having a day of it. You want me to get it out for you? Yeah, yeah. I could always do 100%, that. Hundred percent. I can't get this out unless I take my sweatshirt off. Brand new merch. You had to mess it up on day one. I, what are the odds? Like literally, I'm hit your back. I know, dude. The I, problem I with these big. <laughs> so I just got you unhooked, and I just got you hooked again. <laughs> How did that fish come unhooked? I don't know. I barely was. Is that eight? Oh, I just hooked myself. <laughs> Damn it. All right, we're good. Okay. Harlow will never stop tour deal is the, the mindset is you just never plan. Keep fishing, you just keep traveling, you keep putting on miles on the on the vehicle, but you just never really figure out exactly what you're gonna do until you're there, so. We don't wanna have any plans, yeah, necessarily. Sure. Zero plans other than the meetups and the flight at the end to an undisclosed location. Secret spot. Secret spot at the end. But um, other than that, we just wanna do cool <laughs> We don't wanna do lame <laughs> we wanna do cool <laughs> So that's pretty much our motto, do cool 724, we should maybe think about getting out the water here in a second. We've torn the fish up. Yeah, we, we were eating a lot of bites. Unfortunately, we weren't able also, to get that. What? I think probably triple to four times as many snags as- It's good scaring me. I, I, there's, there's enough wood in this boat right now to start a campfire. So at least we have that out of the way. We've got campfire for the rest of this trip. But um, good news is we caught fish on first stop. That's huge, like you have no idea. Like I think you guys think we're heroes, but we just, we stumbled upon this bite. Um, found a nice little pattern. Luckily, we're able to figure out with the uh, bullshit swim bait, and now we have to get back on the road and figure out where we want to fish tomorrow, or what we want to, or what we want to do, or what we want to fish tomorrow. We got the motor here. We just, imagine we just trimmed this down. I can show you guys, but like, the motor was literally, like, it was a foot away from this guy's car. Not even inches. I don't think, I think you should move the boat first. Okay, slow, like slow. Not much you can not much you can readjust. We can put push this push. Yeah, I'll take, take it off and push it. What's going on? Well it's just freely moving. There we go. Keep going. No snap, I don't want to be in front of him. Yeah. 